Hello everybody and welcome to another exciting episode of the in-game menu. So, okay, funny story. I've got Days Gone and I've been planning on making this little comedy video where I kind of take the whole concept of Days Gone and the biker thing and kind of link together right to how retribution, uh, like the main characters running away from that bad game's history and that's what causes zombie apocalypse and it, it made me giggle in my head. So I started playing it and... God damn, am I kind of disappointed. I'm going to be honest with you. It's, it, yeah, it's it's a game, but there's so many little things I just kind of do my head in. And I can't escape them. Do you know what? I'm going to give this game a bit of... I'm going to go through the developer. So the developer is the Sony Interactive Entertainment Ben Studio, or SIE Ben Studio, if you want to get that nice and short. And they're known for, you know, the pretty big franchise, Siphon Filter, on the PlayStation 1, PSP, PS2. Uh, they are known for the really quite good Uncharted, Golden Abyss, on the PlayStation Vita, the unwanted baby of Sony. And they are also... Well, they got Resistance Retribution on PlayStation 3, a game I never played, but I know Resistance is quite highly acclaimed among other gamers. Uh, but, <laughs> here we go. The most important one on this list for me is probably Bubsy 3D, because I feel as though the people who made that game have come back for this one. Because <laughs> it's such, it's like the premise is there, and it just kind of fail on the basic fronts that all other AAA developers seem to have gotten already. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of go through... I've got some footage, which I was recording for this whole little comedy skit. And tell you what here, let me just show you. Uh, so, we've got some lovely little texture pop-ins. We've got some absolutely amazing AI works. And we've got some fucking brilliant, just fucking faulty bollocks. So... There's stuff I can't show you because I didn't record it, I didn't have it off. I just I started recording it, I recorded two hours of footage, and I was like, what the fuck is happening with this game? So I just started playing it normally, and I wanted to see if it got any better than what I was experiencing. And I'm about, I don't know, 10 hours, 10, 15 hours, something like that. Like, I got it the day before it came out on the 26th, so I got it on the 25th of April 2019. If you watch this in the future, like anybody's going to watch this now. Hi, one person. Probably Tom, I don't know. Hi, Tom. Um... <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, it's 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 frustrating for me, because this game's got everything I kind of want in a game. It's got the zombie premise, it's got the whole open worldy premise, it's got a lovely scenic place that it's taken. It's it's just, it's just there. Everything's there, but then it just doesn't fit. It's it's really annoying. Because I can be playing these, and I'll be enjoying these, and then it'll just be some random bit of bullshit that just takes me out of the whole experience. Like, um, I could be, I don't know, fucking driving up a road on a mission, and all of a sudden I'll see a building on my right, and it won't have any other fucking textures loaded in. Or it could just be something like I'm on a story mission, and I will have to watch a cutscene, and my god, the loading times between the cutscenes and the actual game. It's just so fucking long. Like, they should have really implemented that better by now. This is the end of the PlayStation 4. Full disclaimer, playing on the PS4 Pro, I've heard it's basically the same story on the base console and the Pro version, which is, you know, the Pro version is basically the base console at this point. Uh, if you're going to go for a PlayStation, you're going to go for the Pro. You know, the other one at this point is apparently a, a, a cheap alternative. But I digress. My God, this game. So when I first got this game, a few things kind of struck me immediately. Uh, I got some Mad Max vibes, which is a bit weird. I think that's to do with the whole vehicle maintenance, because in this game, your motorbike, being a biker, is your best friend, essentially. It's the main steed. It is your opponent to your link. It is everything for you to get around that world. You get the one, and you upgrade it. And that's nice, that, it, it works well. One thing I will say for the game developers is that they really put a lot of attention into just like making the world fun. To just ride around in with your motorbike, it, you know, it's, it's a good feel. And the other main premise of the whole zombies, well they're not called zombies in this game, but the zombies, uh, they're, they're known as freaks in the in canon universe. But they're zombies, they're infected fuckers who uh, they eat each other and they are yeah, angry and they hibernate, you know, they're, they're zombies with extra steps, you know, it's, 
they, they do a good job with the whole horde premise of it. Um, when you, you won't see them often, at least I haven't seen them often. I don't know if they're just randomly generated or they are kind of scripted to hang around certain areas or uh, whatever. Um, but when you actually come across one, which I don't know if I have footage of, I think I do. If it is, I'll show it to you. It, it's it's intimidating. It, it, it can be. It will just kind of make you run the hell away. And you will fear them. And you will most likely die the first time you come across them. Because it's intimidating and challenging. But it's fun. But I'll tell you what isn't fun. Humans. Uh, humans in this game are dumb as pig shit. And they just kind of follow the same routine. You will either be attacking their little base, which, you know, around the world there's uh, these little bases with uh, the, the bad people. Because I, I'm assuming by the time I get to the end of the game, the whole thing is going to be the morality of it all. And how the humans who aren't infected are more monstrous than the ones that are. And Yeah, yeah okay, sure. But the humans in this game are really fucking stupid. Uh, you, you can play the game a few different ways. You can try this whole stealth thing that they got going on, which, you know, if you feel as though that's kind of the way you're supposed to do it or you can just go in there guns blazing and that's how you know this game's got like this slow-mo setting if you hit r3 it just kind of slows the game down a bit makes things easier if you just sit behind cover for long enough and just poke your head out whenever that's recharged press the button you'll get a headshot and you can just do that over and over and over and you will never have to move from that one place and that will be it that's a whole combat system right there uh, something that is a bit better is when you're fighting. It's it's more common you do this for the zombies when you do like melee combat. Just like this whole crafting system, very reminiscent of a uh, Dead Rising. Uh, you can take a melee weapon that you found in the world, like a two by four baseball bat, you know, standard shit, uh, chair leg, whatever, um, and then combine it with some nails or uh, a saw or whatever you've learnt at that point so you can make a little vicious combat weapon and the melee in the game although it's just hitting r2 over and over the, the oomph that you get from the actual impact is satisfying enough to carry it but the actual gunplay when you're versus the other humans especially ones that just kind of fucking repeat the same lines and just hide behind the cover and then all you gotta do is kind of it's just a waiting game for how long do you have to wait for your thing to recharge long enough so you can get a headshot and for them to stop fucking talking you know oh and do, do you know what whilst i'm on this little point here the bases when you kill them all you have to find a bunker there's no marker or shit for that bunker you're just gonna find like a fucking grate in the floor just a hatch in the floor and sometimes you can get some big bases and it's running around well, why not just have a point there why can't i why do i have to search for it and if i'm gonna search for it let me use the weird bat vision system that you got going on there or the Ezio fucking assassin vision and just let me do it that way but you know it's no going on even more this game takes itself really seriously when it comes to the story and and you know it's nice to have a good story lots of games have a good story the last of us had a good story it's a good story people enjoy a good story have i said good story enough times yeah i think i might have done by now too much good story too much good story this game takes itself so seriously but it's so fucking standard there's no craziness it's not like far cry it's not like the last of us like i said it, it's not fucking any it's not dead rising it's it, it's just I, I think the problem is is that the characters you get introduced to in the game and i've been introduced to i don't know quite a few plays uh, people I, i've only been to two different camps um, and, I, and I swear to God, by the time I got to the second camp, which is supposed to be seven hours to get there, um, I, I already, I thought one character was the same character for another camp because I just, there was no fucking difference to me whatsoever. I genuinely thought, and um, the character's name is Copeland in one place, and then he's a gunsmith in the second place, but to me when they were doing the shit it's like apart from wearing different clothes i could just swap you and i couldn't give there's just no interest um and then you know most of the story is kind of based fundamentally in little flashbacks from what i'm gathering so far what i'm playing i think i'm like 25 percent few uh f from what i'm seeing on a little progress bar but it's just it's just not gripping and that's not good if you can never have a game that's basing itself strongly on this grounded realism and people are suffering. It's... You need... You can't... I don't even know how to help you. But I will be fair. The more I play this game, 
the better it might get. More activities might be added. Better enemies might be added. Uh, more interesting characters might be added. But then it comes down to the very basic flawed systems that they have in place. Not flawed as in it's a bad game design, but flawed as in they just don't fucking work. Uh, just I had this weird audio glitch where they were. I was going too fast for the game to keep up, and that's a ridiculous statement, I know, because I'm just playing the game as fast as it would let me, but I had like three or four different people trying to talk to me at once through this fucking radio system, and the game gave up, and it cut off a whole channel of audio, so I could hear myself just open doors, but zombies went completely silent, other AI went completely silent, the game just freaked the fuck out and cut it off, and that's just from me playing it. I can imagine the more I play, the more weird shit I'm just going to uncover. So far I've seen, like I've said before, I've seen like untextured buildings up close. I've seen enemies just fucking stand there in front of me doing nothing. And, oh man, if they can't get that basic fundamental game design part down, I don't know what I hope there is for the rest of the game if they can't get the basic systems. And I should probably add at this point, the game I'm playing is version 1.04. Um, <laughs> so I can't even imagine what the base game, when it came out, version 1.0, nah. Apparently this is when they've tried to make it better. I really hope that they can fix some of the shit in the post, like release updates. <laughs> it's... <sighs> It's not AAA Sony standard. I had Spider-Man. This isn't Spider-Man. This isn't God of War. This isn't even... This isn't even... PlayStation Vita standard stuff. This is... Yeah. So would I recommend you get this game for the 49.99 price points at the moment? No, I, I really wouldn't. I'd wait and see what they do. Uh, or hopefully the updates, hopefully these things be fixed. I read a little bit of something saying that this has got a long-term plan in place, so I hope the developers are listening, and I hope they can fix just... If they can just get the game running properly, I don't expect perfection. I don't want to give out like I'm some sort of video game hard ass. Uh, I find some glitches just hilarious, and I can just leave it at that. Some, you know, it's really hard to make a game, I know that, but if you're making a game AAA standard, you kind of expect a level of polish. Aim to be Nintendo. That's that's all I'm going to say there. But anyway, to all of those who have watched this little thing and listened to me rant on this completely unprofessional, unscripted rant, thank you very much. And if you found this interesting, please hit that subscribe button. And just, oh, I don't want to do this, but hit that bell. Fucking YouTube, man. It makes you do this shit all days. And I'll see all of y'all in the next one I decide to make, which might be next week or next year. Who knows? See you later. Bye.